Hello everybody, this is Jack and let me know if you hear me well. So we're getting ready for a new training. Thanks for joining. If you watch the replay, thanks for watching the replay. If you watch it on YouTube, if you like the content, please uh, like and subscribe. I always appreciate it. Hi Patty, hi Rob. Thanks for joining, Martin. So I create, I prepared a small presentation about digital marketing trends and specifically for websites, which is content need, which websites convert, what the spending is for a website, why you need to uh, create great looking websites, why business need a great looking website. So we will cover that all. Then we will make a list what we think what we think a website needs to consist of, which elements. And then I will we will you will get a demo how this all works in the real world. So hi Aileen, thanks for joining. So you should see in presentation now. What says about digital market trends spending you can't ignore? So my name is Jack Hopman. I'm a local market since 2009. I serve clients as well as I train digital market to become successful. And so the biggest question you might want to start off is how big is the digital marketing industry? Where, where which pie are we eating from? And it's actually much bigger than uh, you might envision. So the global digital advertising marketing was established at 350 billion, billion, not million, but billion in 2020, and it's pro projected to reach almost the real double in 2026. So this will double since 2006, six years. That is amazing. That is amazing. So everything, no, everything is uh, a lot of things goes online. A lot of things go digital. And we all have to see in the past year with the COVID period, and this trend will only go up. So you are in the right spot. You learn something where the need for you you will get trained on tools and methods what business owners need and willing to pay for. The US digital advertising market, market is currently set at 460 billion. Amazing. This is just big, 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 huge numbers. 63% of business owners have increased their digital marketing budget just this past year. So it's really growing hard, much harder than you might imagine. And the other day, last week, I had somebody on the call and uh, he asked me, Jack, which products uh, should I get from you? And I, and I, I gave him the HC bundle as advice, but I also said, if you have clients, don't forget to increase your prices in January. That is where your clients, people are used to see in price increase. And also don't forget to ask more for your service because everything went inflated, correct? So you have to pay more for food. You have to pay more for every product or service and the and your clients, they will also ask more for their products and services. So don't become cheap. Actually, if you were on the training uh, the other day with Cynthia, she mentioned $700 as a discounted price. We have seen that training. That was amazing. I said $700 discount. Yes, normally I ask $1,500. And I, I, I don't know if Cynthia is on the line today. But her regular price is $1,500. And she's really busy, really busy. 
So she will come um, back uh, on the training um, the last Tuesday of the month. And then she will go over, you know, her, her success with her uh, new clients and how she, how she charged them, how, with, with uh, pri the pricing plan. So this, this is all in the work. We had the meeting yesterday. Uh, we put the outline together and this will become an amazing story. So don't forget to increase your prices. Maybe you do a trial amount, you know, the first three months, uh, and then after three months, your increased price. That is fine. The most important part is actually that you get paid monthly, that you don't do too many one-time deals. You want to get paid monthly. You want to actually, you want to use SaaS products which have a one-time setup like Connect Boss or website management, those kind of things, and you set it up once and the the software runs on itself. So what is the success rate of digital marketing? So website statistics. 72% of small business have a website. Oh, you said Jack. So the market is only 28%? No. The reality is that most of those 72% have not a good mobile responsive website. And they know. There's nothing new. Actually, the, the, who is your guys? Who of you guys have an iPhone and once in a week you get an average hour uh, statistics? They that is what the iPhone does, correct? I don't know if it's Android does that too, but the, the iPhone uh, provides you a statistic. And have you compared those hours with the hours you work on the desktop? Yeah, it's amazing, correct? It's amazing. It's you, you. It's the the mobile phone get much more used than the desktop, correct? If you be honest, and that is the trend. So that means all websites, all applications. Everything needs to work well on the mobile. And they don't. They don't. They don't. So visit a, visit a local website and, and visit on the, on the mobile. How often do you see things are not working and not clear? And that is your first impression about that business. That is their presentation uh, medium. So you, so you build up your impression based on on their, uh, on their website. Do you guys have the, uh, I had the other day a discussion with my wife, actually she mentioned to me, if you compare Walmart or Costco online shopping cart experience with Amazon, it's like 10 year difference, correct? It's so underdeveloped still. And that is why Amazon drives so much, not only, not only the website, it's not only the website, it's also the delivery time. But their shopping experience helps you, motivates you, gives you trust to order more. And that's also where local business works. If, if you get a positive experience, with their website, the loading time, the call to action, the videos, you much more enlightened to, to call them up, to contact them. So that is your first plan. So now you have to turn it around. How can you help local business with a nice mobile responsive website? Because you are a digital agency. So 43% of small businesses that do not have a website plan on improving their website performance this year, 43%. Basically, 
half of them. So if you speak with two business owners, you have 50% chance, actually 43% chance, but basically 50% chance that they looking for improving their website. That is huge, correct? That is incredible. That is low hanging fruit. You cannot go wrong to include website part of your digital marketing plan. You cannot. 73% of the business investors have to help the brand set out from the competitors. Yes, especially with doctors, lawyers, those higher end natures. They really want to stand out. They want to look nicer, better than the competitors. So they really are willing to pay for that. Nearly 6% of people said they wouldn't recommend a business if they had a poorly designed mobile website. The thing about your seller. So you find a website which you have not used and somebody asks, which you have not used the service. So a new customer, you are a new customer and you come across a plumber website. And let's say your neighbor asks for a reference for a plumber and you had not a positive experience with their website, would you recommend them before you use them? No, so based on their website, you wouldn't, correct? You didn't, you would not feel, you would think they are a starter. They don't have the things in place. So Brian just said, I was on a doctor's website this week. That was built in 2015. How long ago is that? That is uh, seven years ago. And it's mostly broken. Oh, on a desktop, not even mobile. They need an update desperately. So, by trying to get a meeting, listen to the needs. Did, did you, where you last week or two weeks ago with, with Cynthia? On the, on the training, you need to try to get a meeting with them. Ask question, make a plan to action, present that plan to action, and then implement it. You will get even more training on that. But those doctor websites, high end niches, actually, <laughs> in, in reality, you need only 10 doctors as clients. Huh? You only need 10 clients to, to serve well. So I have more clients, but to do well. So in doctor niche, lawyer niche, they pay $2,000 per month for all kinds of services. If you have 10 clients, it adds up, it's $20,000 per month. No, that is 20,000 times 12 is 240,000. You know what a doctors make in the US? They make between 200 and $300,000. So you, you can, by serving 10 doctors for digital marketing, you can earn the same as a physician. Yeah. That's amazing, correct? Right? What you can achieve with digital marketing. So, Investing in your site used to be at least 100 rand for every website. Yes, that is for websites. Over half of the world, website traffic comes from mobile phones. And, and I think even more nowadays. Correct? Gary, just, uh, I didn't put the source in it, but if you would search with over half the world traffic comes from mobile phones, you will find the, the link easily. This all comes from statistics. This, I'm not making this up, Gary. I just haven't uh, put in the source link in it. 86% of the consumers say they would like to see more video content from brands they love. Yes. So actually, there's another element from websites. People are lazy. They don't like to eat anymore. 
especially not from day one from from the start you you can you can start interest with the video and once they like the video content they are willing to read so here is a table average investment in website and online marketing in canada so less if you know a lot of business still make less than two million per year but they are willing to spend nineteen thousand dollars at average at average ninety thousand dollars at average per year so divided by 12 is fifteen hundred dollar about so how much would uh, a doctor make probably a doctor always makes more than 10 million correct i think so 10 million and guys you like my new cursor it's green you should see it now so 10 million how much is 142 divided by 12 gary you're good in math so let's say this 10 is fourteen thousand dollars per month correct thousand dollar per month ten oh sorry ten thousand dollar a month wow on a website that's what i said you don't need if you go to those niches you don't need that many clients you don't need 50 clients you need 10 good clients and you make a very well income especially with the rates what runs nowadays so it's amazing right and online marketing is 92 dollars so only for the website they are willing to spend to pay for it so nothing should be nothing should be able to stop you from becoming successful and especially we are running in the last month of 2022 and we want to get prepared for how do we find those Gareth, how many doctors do you have in your town How many lawyers do you have in your town? A lot. Okay. So you find a lot, correct? How to get a. Let me. I think you probably know, but let me say it again. How to get in contact with a lawyer? Book a meeting. That's free, correct? Speak about your will. They, at, at a certain moment, they will ask, what are you doing for a profession? And you can say, I help business like you to get found online. And then you ask, who are you using for Google Ads? That's how I got my lawyer, her client. And actually he said, I use Google Ads. That's what he said. And then I said, are you happy with it? That's what I said. Are you happy with it? And if they say, are, are you happy with your website? Are you happy with your Google Ads provider? If they say yes, then, you know, they're happy. If they say no, then you answer, I can help you with that. So, George said, many are working in firms or groups versus an independent doctor. Does the data for, for which group? You, you, you know, lawyers, lawyers are so easy to speak with, correct? You, you can book meetings with lawyers. Alan said, I had an insurance salesman show up at my home front door and during the conversation, I told him what I do. He is interested in getting help with his website. Good. Now, that is so good, Aline. I'm proud of you. So now you want to get a meeting and you want to ask questions. Aline is very good in that. Okay, ask questions about their business. You listen and listen and listen. And based on the question, based on the question, you uh, you create a proposal and if you make a nice proposal you will get the business now when somebody said if you are interested what is the 
what is the thing you need to do? If somebody said, I'm interested, what I need to say you need to do? You need to set up a meeting, correct? With time and day and have the mobile phone. Mobile phone number, day and time. Now you follow up with a plan. I'm working with Cynthia to make scripts. Yes, we are working on it. Yeah, we are working on all of this. You can learn those scripts, you can use the scripts. We are working on it. You will love it. I have seen the script, but we have to make it a little bit generally. So I have your demo, but actually what I wanted to do is first this. Website. So what are the elements? A good website needs to contain. Okay, so let's make a list together. What elements a good website? Uh, logo. Mobile friendly. A contact. So contact details. Call buttons. Video. Ability to take appointment. Appointment scheduler, yeah. Payments. ADA compliance. Contact widget. That's the solution. So, shall we put that as an uh, as an requirement? A call to actions. I think I have that, but I will write it down. SSL. We we oh, don't need good SSL. So secure web sites. Show me an example side that is ADR compliant. Yes, I will. Okay, terms and conditions. Terms and conditions. That is, yeah, that has two sides. If you send paid traffic, it needs to have that anyway. But a good website has that. Privacy policy, terms, yes. Terms and conditions. Privacy. Reviews. Yeah, that's actually very important. Because you can tell about how, what you think about your service of, uh, uh, products, but if somebody else says it, it makes a higher impact. So I will copy this. The web should say who business, what the business does, why the customers need the business and how to get started. Now we will discuss this. Fast loading. I agree. Fast loading. Testimonials, I think yeah, reviews, testimonials.
secure hosting Sala, yeah, it's not the same as SSL, I agree, but I will put it on that category, secure hosting. So uh, let's uh, do a secure hosting here. So it's not really the same as SSL. Block page. Retargeting. Secure managed hosting, yeah, secure. Up to the blog page, up to date content, and about us sanction. Payments. Store. <laughs> I I will not say it, Byron. <laughs> what you said? No dot 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 for hosting on page and off page SEO. SEO optimized. A map feature. Yeah, contact details. Map. Schema, as you optimize schema. Schema markup. We got SEO people here. Social linking. Actually, that's a good point. Uh, because it's not the same, but social linking also helps with uh, with testimonials kind of thing. It's kind of kind of the same thing, not the same, but related. The group Google Business Profile in place, yes. So I'm not sure if that a uh, Google Business Profile in place yeah social expertise authority trustworthy yeah that is a summary of above more or less gary i feel but i will mention it because it needs to show the website needs to be that way as a kind of as a result of the mentioned elements. Pictures is actually a good point. Actually, that's a very good point, and we will discuss this, why this is so important. Makes a difference on the blog posts and articles, yes. So, there's actually Uh, blog. So let me add blog so I don't forget it. Clean and up to date. Clean and to date. So clean and up to date. Good. Relevant keywords for the site rank. Yes, as you optimized. Yeah. So this is really a good list. Anything else? Me, we want to discuss for a good website. If you have some new elements, I will add it. So let's go over each element. Log is clear, correct? Because this, this will, a video, we, we have a video, huh? Local intent. Where is uh, market for site rank? Local intent. Yeah. 
So logo is branding and look and feel. Yeah. So how do you how do you say this? When you are a new visitor, you kind of have the tendency to judge business based on the website. Do you agree? So the look and feel and the website experience is very important to build up that trust before they contact you. Logo is important. Mobile friendly is important. Look and feel is important. Fast loading is important. So those are all important elements that helps to build up the trust. Contact details, you want to make it easy for the website visitor that they contact you. And actually what you want to do is wherever, wherever they are on your website, they should be able to call you if you want, if you want calls. They should be able to email you if you want emails. They should be able to set appointments if they want, if you offer to set appointments. So all over the place, they need to be able to contact you on the way you want to get contacted. Can be chat, can be email, can be call, can be text matches. Huh? Actually, what you want is a widget, correct? Now, I don't want to make this a connect both call widget, but that's actually what it is. That's how you solve it. You just put a simple widget on your website, which shows are always on the bottom. They can click on it and Whenever they are ready, they can call you, they can email you, they can text you, they can set an appointment with you, they can chat with you. Now, video is really important, and actually for multiple reasons. There is people like people, website visitor, visitor. They are lazy, <laughs> they are lazy, they are really lazy. I don't know if we call it lazy, but they they prefer to watch or to read. Actually, you don't get so t much tired about reading, about watching than reading. Reading costs uh, energy, huh? No. But it also has an SEO advantage because Google rewards websites ranking. They rewards ranks. Let's let just put rank, huh? Rank. Rank websites based on the average time website visitor is is on a website with video they already what are automatically along on the website it can be one uh, can be one minute video it doesn't need to be uh, doesn't need to be long correct can be one minute to to watch rather than to read, yes. So video is a very, is what I prefer and it's good for SEO. Yeah, you can do podcast, you can external linking if you really want, if you have the interest and they are willing to learn more about yourself as a product or person or certain topic you can put a link on it and have a podcast link on it a webinar you want to offer 
the ability to take appointments. So have an appointment link on your website if you offer appointments. You want to be able that they can buy online. <laughs> How many businesses would wish that they had online payment system during the pandemic? They many, many implemented that, and uh, and now it is very common that you can pay by online via your store or via your buildings. But typically via store because there are multiple products and multiple services. You want to offer them ADA compliance, especially when you are Europe. That is kind of a uh, common thing. I will get back to you and I will show it to you. The contact which you already touched on it, but includes that they can, can email you, they can call you, they can text you, they can chat with you, they can book an appointment with you, all via simple way. So actually with a contact widget, you solve a lot of problems. Call to action, contact methods, that they contact you right into your mobile widget. So you can connect, collect those contacts into your phone. So who has the mobile widget installed on your phone from the call CD? Have you seen that now when you get a, a, a contact, it doesn't show the first name anymore. It shows, the, sorry, the phone number anymore. It shows the, the first and last name. We continuously improve the, the experience bit from the mobile app. We do about one major update per month. And the and beauty of those apps are that those are kind of automatically updated. You just have to press OK and you get the latest version. Call to action. Okay. If you don't ask for the action, you less likely to get. So Aline had an experience, he just shared it in. Uh, in the message that she had an insurance agent. And now she shared with me the challenge part is to follow up. So what you really want to do is ask for a meeting, for a date. So if you don't get those things settled down, it's, li it's less likely you get an action. So don't forget to, to follow up and don't let it in the middle. That's basically what it is. Keep the lead. SSL, so you will be amazed, you will be amazed how many websites still do not have an SSL installed. It's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. When you visit a website without, that doesn't show secure, you also feel that business is not so professional. It doesn't help you with trust to use the website and that service and that business. So if you have two identical websites, two identical businesses, and one has an SSL install and one does not have an SSL install, one shows not secure and one does, does show secure, your logical intuitive nature is that you contact that business what shows your website, correct? Thanks, Patty. So term and condition, privacy. So it's kind of a thing you always struggle, but you just can Google online for examples and then mod modify it to your like or to your business like. So I not really can provide you complete term and conditions link because otherwise I would be legally responsibility and I don't want to take that up. But how you solve that, you just Google it and you get examples and you modify it for you or for your client. Term conditions, reviews and testimonies. Now, it makes a huge difference, huge difference, 
if somebody else recommends a business or the business itself. If somebody else recommends a business, then you're much more likely to use that business because everybody would say from their self, I'm good. But you actually you want to hear from somebody else. So you, you as business or for your agency, you want to collect reviews and you want to show those reviews on the website. The website should say who the business is and what the business does, who the customer needs the business and to get sell. Now actually, actually, this statement can also get misused. Now, when you of when you create a landing page, the first part needs to be about what the website visitor get, not about the business. You want a section about the business, but not above default, correct? First, you need to tell you gain about, you gain this, eh? whatever your, uh, what you sell. So you, it's not about, okay, the business and where they are located and when they were established. That's important part okay i'm not dismissing it okay but you want to have that down the website on a separate page that is not the most important part the most important part is what the website visitor gets so why customer need and what they get correct what they get when they use your product or service does that make sense? So you see a lot of business, and that's a common mistake. That's actually a common mistake that business speaks about themselves. They are so proud about the business, and when they are established and with building, and how many employees they have, and all those kind of things, which is important, but should not be the first thing what the website fits to see. It should about how fast they get repaired the AC system, about happy customers, about that they are affordable, about their guarantees, all those things. And then you have a section, don't make it too long, about the business, how long they are, how they are, how long they are in business, and, and so forth. So don't mix this up, okay? It should be fast loading. Actually, the loading speed is very important. It's actually under as it's overseen. Now, by default, WordPress sites load slower than uh, HTML site because the data has come from a database. Hosting. Now, if you have clients and the website is not working. I guarantee you that the business is calling you within a couple of hours when a website is not working. And they feel, they express their frustration and the importance of to have a website. So that is how important secure hosting is. You can lose easily in customer if your website is not secure. So if you really want secure websites, then use HTML websites. So not data, not WordPress. So that is that is the thing. WordPress is good, very flexible, use a lot of plugins. Some of you guys are trained for that, and I would stick with it. But if you are new and you have no preference, it doesn't matter to you, then use HTML uh, Rapify websites. Okay. So blog page, there's actually, somebody already said it, expertise, authority, trustworthy. So what you want to establish is authority, correct? You want to kind of position yourself as an expert. Because if the website visitors see you as 
an expert, they are more willing to use your service and they're also more willing to pay more. Plus, a blog page can be, uh, can be written with keywords and get ranked on that way. So blog page has up-to-date content, new content, fresh, fresh contact, content, and can be written in a way that you get seen as an expert. Retargeting, if you really want to use it, like uh, YouTube and Facebook, you put a pixel in it and you can advertise it on those platforms. About those section, actually, actually, who the business is, goes in the about us section. It is important, but don't start with it. SEO optimize, free traffic, schema, so you tell Google about what your website is about, which keywords you want to get searched for. Relevant keywords, you need to have a keyword section, the website builder, to, to, to get the site ranked, and local intent. So you rank much easier if the website is built with Plumber City, a city like Bogotón, Plumber Bogotón. You can much easier rank for Plumber Bogotón than Plumber. Social linking. No, actually, it does two things. It does the, uh, if somebody wants to go to your Facebook page, if somebody wants to go to your LinkedIn page, if somebody wants to go to your LinkedIn page, they will click on it. But actually, they most they don't do. They just want to make sure that you are social known, that you have a social presence. Because if you have a social presence, then they they trust you more because other people trust you and you want to make sure they have a google business profile now this kind of kind of comes into place when you speak with the client and check them out what they have in place and you make a plan for them expertise blog page pictures yes so this kind of comes same what we said in the beginning you want to that your website look professional, clean, pictures who are attractive, but express what your service and business is. So actually the picture choices are important and looks clean and up to date. So those are more or less the elements. Let me give you a quick demo for a couple of landing pages which have those elements. I'm probably locked out by now. So let me uh, let me try to log in. So when you go to my site, niches, I mean, let me log out here. So it's not the right one. Okay, this is not the right one. So, let me log in my own account then. Then you see all websites and you see how much I use uh, Rapify. So when you go to hosting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And how many pages I have? Ten, pa ten pages about, so more. I have about 120 websites for my salad. So a lot, correct? So I use my product. That's kind of the thing that I quickly wanted to show, nothing more. So I really love Rapify, really love. So when you go to table and search on landing page, those are the new ones. And tell me niche you are going after. Let lawyer, lawyer, lawyer is a good niche, correct? You should get after lawyers. They have money, okay? Lawyers, criminal lawyers, accident lawyers, criminal lawyer, divorce lawyer, immigration lawyer. 
real estate, huh? chiropractor. I will do chiropractor as well. Network marketer, accident lawyer. Actually, those are uh, view. So you see a nice picture, your personal name, dynamic, nice for the eyes, testimony, it's call to action. Social links, correct? A lot of elements. So what you do is, okay, I want to use it. Then it get loaded in the bill. From here, you can make easy changes. Okay. We have a food ordering site. You just can do online store. Okay. Home. Best serve ever. There's actually a website with the top menu. But I also have landing pages. So then you have on this, somebody asked for ADA. Let me show you that site settings, ADA. And then you say, enable it. And now you enable it and then it will show ADA. That's all what you need to do. So you see here, contact 77 grades. You should replace contact. And then you say the new address. So let's say 888 street. Okay. And I click on replace. So remember 777 get replaced by 88 Street. Replace. Then all over the website, this get updated. So they get updated on all places. Eighty-eight suite. Eighty-eight suite. So let's say we want to update the phone number. Side settings. Replace company details. Phone number. Let's say nine five four. And then five 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 five. And I replace. And then all the all. On all places, that landing page you see here, the phone number get everywhere updated. So that's how easy it is. Schema or what? Keywords, site settings, page settings. So here see meta description, page keywords. Correct, so here, meta keywords. So that's where you do the keywords portion. If you want an other logo, you just click on it and you update the logo. Click on it and you update the logo. Okay, any other questions? And then you do publish and then you select hosting your domain, you select the domain and you update. I don't know which domain I have free. That's kind of, kind of uh, risky. So those are all my domains. I need to check first before I override another one. The phone numbers are all clickable. They're, by default, they are clickable. So 
let me do a slide from a side from scratch. First, we do uh, an a landing page. This was more a website. We'll not do first a landing page. The the ADA button appears on the left side from the website, and you can click on it like an icon. So landing first. So we have acupuncture, credit, carpenter, disaster, gutters, handyman, jewelry shop. We have many landing pages. Uh, that's somebody's for disaster recovery, use. Okay. Now the landing page get loaded. And you see on the left side only one page because it's a landing page. Huh? So landing page. Save. And your same street, the nice header. Bullet points, nice for the eye. Main serve, main services, bullet points, text, testimonials, social links. This website convert. Then if you have settings and you do uh, tracking and scripts, you see here the lead widget, correct widget. Here you add the code for the connect bus widget. That's all what you need to do. Now, the last thing, oh, the last thing, another thing I wanted to show you is a new site. Say new site. And now you start from scratch by yourself, correct? I think uh, Patty was asking for it. And now we'll show you something amazing. Really amazing. Okay, let me show it to you. So on the left hand side, you see sections. Ever see this sections? And then from each topic, you can select most used, headers, banners, contact changes, contact forms, pre-gazelle sections, features, photos, headings, images, landing pages. So if you want to Create your own landing page elements. Use this. Opt-in forms, people, portfolios, pricing tables, timer, dividers, call to action, services, text, video. So you can just select those elements and build your own website. This does not end. This is endless what you can do. All the main, all the main sections are listed here. So you can just build your own website. But, so let me do header and then say, uh, so those are all the headers. Let me select one which I like and then I drag it. Okay. And then do landing pages. And then I kind of like this. Then I do services, services. Let me do this. Then I do some testimonials. I add them differently. I do video. Video. And that's right here. And I do footer. Yeah. Okay, let me do a photo. Enter name, side demo. Save now. It is GDPR compliant, yes. 
So here you have your website, and now you just update everything to your like. You just click on the content and update images. So you can create your own website to your like, and I just did that in two minutes, correct? Services, GDP, GDPR, huh? You can set all the GDPR settings to your like. Is it not amazing how quickly you can create a website? Easy peasy, yes. Yeah, so you just have to go to sections. Now, most sections have Google Docs links, but you can also go to start, watch the videos, or all the Google Docs here. So, uh, there's one thing new we haven't dis discussed it yet. So normally, the website get listed on st standard hosting, but if you really, really want to have it fast lo loading, then you select premium. It is one dollar per month more. So if you do premium, it loads incredible fast. So that's when you, so if it's an important client or an important website, you want to choose premium here. Okay, so that's the difference. We just implemented this, that's new. And everything else is just click and click. Now we have support. I think Patty can speak about it. We have support tickets, Skype, and you can also do a website request. Huh? So we have all kind of support. Now, a uh, premium host doesn't, it's not related to business direct, it's for websites, Rapify. Can I get vertical numbers from you? Yes, you go to Jack Homer website, and then you go to the call portal, okay? What is add SSL? It's, okay, SSL, it's, it's, you see the, when I put here, in the chat, I put no Jack Homer website, okay? And you see that the S is installed. So that means it is secure. Patty said, easy to chat on Skype with your team. Thanks for a great team. Thanks, Patty. So here's my website. It's also built in Rapify, contact widget. I, I allow text and email. So if you go to uh, my website, uh, my sites, and go to Jack here, Jack Hopman. So this website is also installed. My website. And all my sales pages, new sales pages. So yeah, you do it on the whole, you can do here if, if you, uh, host a website but doesn't have SSL, it will show you SSL in red. Click on it and then, uh, and you can do it on the hosting as well. So don't save on it. But here is an example, click on it, and then $7 for the SSL and $20 for the installation. And you can order now. So you, you want to show that your website is secured. Good, and with that said, we passed the one hour training. We will, you will get more website training. I'm working with Cynthia with a um, questionnaire and, and uh, more great stuff. So the coming weeks, you will get a lot of training, good training, and I, Thank you all guys for coming online today and see you on the next training. Thank you so much.